in my previous video, guys, I mentioned how what the New York Stock Exchange president went ahead and officially admitted about what is actually going on with the execution of our orders, the routing of our orders as retail investors not being done as it should be. Instead of our orders taking a single bus and going straight to the, the, the exchange where the actual share price is being calculated, well, the brokerage firms are taking this share price, our orders, I mean, putting them in a bus, taking a different route that will stop to Citadel and other firms and they will get paid in the process, which is definitely a huge problem because it means our orders may be delayed, okay? Our orders may not be executed when we send it. You don't know how much time it's taking and our orders may be definitely sitting there internally in the books of hedges in drug pools and never even seeing the actual exchange. And that's why the whole manipulation around this explains why this thing has not popped to triple digit price already. All right, guys. Now I'm going to share with you what the New York Stock Exchange actually went ahead and did with the SEC in order to fix this issue. All right. So this is exactly what they did. They sent out a notice to file for an immediate effectiveness on the proposed change around the equities price list and the fee schedule to establish the pricing for orders that are designated as retail orders. So you can see that this has been noticed to the SEC today, June 17, and it has been, you know, the rule change, you know, it's supposed to be starting effective on June 1st, okay? This is not something new, but the actual disclosing to the SEC, it's, uh, uh, um, it's, it's new, and that's why we are only seeing this now, okay? Well, I'm not going to read the entire document, guys, because it's pretty lengthy, but I'm going to just highlight the main pieces for you and how this will impact the short squeeze of AMC. Well, first of all, starting with the purpose. The purpose of this is to amend the price list and the fee schedule to establish pricing for orders designated as retail orders. So pretty much they're going to try to get the orders from the retailers being flagged from whoever is sending these to the exchange directly, all right? Now, this is something I think is really smart about how the New York Stock Exchange approached this whole thing. Because first of all, they, so, I mean, they know that we are living in a highly competitive market when you have so many apps for the retail investment. Rebull, you know, you know um, um, Robinhood, we have a bunch of those, even Cash App, and then you have now the traditional. Every single major bank has its own, you know, channel or, you know, app to invest. So instead of having a new regulation that will, you know, be really difficult to enforce that these guys are really applying and observing this regulation, they know that these guys only speak the dollar sign language, okay? Everybody loves making money, all right? So they understand that, and this is what they did. They proposed three monetary incentives, okay? A credit for $003 per share for every order designated as a retail order that is adding liquidity, that's a buy order, okay? Given that the standard for the exchange is ranging between 0024 per share and 0027. The second incentive is a fee of $001 per share designated as a retail order that will remove liquidity. That is a selling order, okay? And that fee is actually 60% lower than the actual standard ranging from $0026 per share and $0030. And finally, a fee of $005 per share for orders designated as retail orders executed in an opening action. So guys, pretty much they are trying to give an incentive to the brokerage firms that are working with companies like Citadel by packing our orders in bulk, in big chunk, and making money off of those, telling them, hey, instead of you taking all the orders from the retailers and sending them to these companies, let us find out a deal where you can make much more money, but instead you send all of our orders and you flag them as retail orders and then they come to our exchange. Well, it's a small thing for, for, for the, for, from, from the New York Stock Exchange because first of all, it's also benefiting them because the bigger the volume for them, the bigger money they make, all right? And then secondly, you know, it is a deal where not only everybody gets a win, the retailers, New York Stock Exchange, and 
the bad guy, okay? But not only that, more importantly, the Nero Stock Exchange is giving the impression that to the SEC that, hey, I'm also trying to do my part here in fighting for market integrity and fairness, especially for the retailers, which is the game plan for the SEC so far. So guys, definitely this is a big milestone. It's a big milestone for us and it's gonna play in the favor of the straw squeeze because it removes some of the dry powder from the hedges because for our orders not to sit anymore in the books, well, we have our volume getting to the actual exchange and it will be taken into account while the system calculates the share price because now we can really see the effects of all the buying and holding we've been doing since the last six months, okay? So not really sure on the short-term impact, but definitely we need to keep a close eye on this, especially moving next week. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm out.